could upload a website about lollipops or something it it doesn't really matter there there should be a correlation between the domain name and the website you're uploading to it but for practice purposes and for all intents and purposes there isn't necessarily a, a correlation between the domain name and the content that you upload to it so um, anyway so this is how you would actually upload multiple websites on one account you would once you have registered the domain name with GoDaddy what you would do is then you would go over here and you would click add domain and you, once you click on add domain it takes you to this section and then here you basically enter your website address and if it's uh, registered with GoDaddy it'll pop up as you enter it so in this case I would I would have I typed in actually cloakproject.com and then what it'll do is you create a folder it's uh, it can be confusing because it can be called a folder or a subdirectory or even a directory so you enter in the domain name that you've registered with GoDaddy and then you type in the folder where you're going to locate these files um, where you're going to upload your website to so you if you didn't put a folder name in here then what would happen is all of your website would go into the root folder in this in your primary um, domain and it would be a problem because it wouldn't show up because you can only have one home page or one default page per website so in the root in the root um, file there's already a default home page for server 07 if I if I up tried to upload cloakproject.com without putting it in its own folder its default home page would load into the root directory and then I'd have two default pages and um, the hosting account only recognizes one so it, it wouldn't work to be able to upload multiple websites on one hosting account you have to designate a folder so like the root directory doesn't need a folder because it's the root but for like these two I have alpha 3 video productions and I put it in the video folder and then I have cloakproject.com and I put it in the cloak folder so every domain name that I could uh, host on this account and I could literally host hundreds of them here I shows I have five I would have to designate a folder that I would be putting it into and as you'll see this will become important as we go to actually upload the website from expression web so it's actually not as um, intimidating or complicated as it might sound you just put in your domain name and then you just give it a folder name and that's the folder or directory to which you will be uploading all of your files every website will have to have its own folder and uh, we go from there so this is another section within the GoDaddy uh, thing that's called the file uh, manager and it shows you all of the subdirectories or folders that I've created so you'll see when I created that folder it actually created a file folder for me so all the contents for my website is actually ultimately going to be in here I printed this to show you that one time one thing you can get tripped up on when you're uploading to your um, hosting account is you have to come over and set your permissions sometimes if your permissions are not set then it will not allow you to upload into that folder so once you come into your file manager and you click on your um, folder then what happens is it'll go into this screen and it'll give you a chance to set your permissions and you at least want to set the um, the permissions to read and write and it allows you then to upload your folder sometimes if the permissions aren't set correctly then you won't be able to upload to your folder so hopefully that's all clear if you guys have any questions about this you can feel free to email me about this it can get confusing the other thing I'd like to mention is that and this is kind of a good thing about GoDaddy is that if you ever do have any questions about how to do something you can always call them and they actually are available 24 hours a day an actual live person so the only thing I can think of is they must be making a lot of money because they do have live technical support 24 7 and I'm, I've actually called them like at 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes um, they'll tell you 
uh, some things up to a certain point, but if it's anything related to something that you're doing wrong on, you know, your side of things, then they'll tell you there's nothing they can do. But if it's related to something wrong with GoDaddy or something about GoDaddy, how to do something on GoDaddy, then generally speaking, they're they're pretty good, although sometimes it's uh, hit and miss. So uh, that's one thing I'd like to point out. So. Let me just go back here on these uh, screens always and uh, just kind of summarize real fast. I realize I went through a lot. You s once you sign up for your hosting account, you'll pick a primary one, a primary domain name. Then you go to Manage Account, and it takes you to this screen. Then you go to Your Domains, and this comes up. And then, if you, then you'll go to Add a Domain. So in this case, it was the Cloak Project and I go to add a domain and I wrote in cloak project I created a cloak folder and I go OK and then it shows up down here now that this file folder is on the GoDaddy server now waiting for me to upload something to it and for every website that I add I have to create a folder to put it in otherwise it'll go into the root directory where it will not come up it has to be put in its own folder this is something that it's really, um, it seems simple, but it's easy to get confused about it. But for every domain you load up, just make sure to create a folder. I can't tell you how um, many times I hit my head against the wall on that. There's a section in the hosting account that allows you to see all of the files that are uploaded on your website. And you'll for every domain that you have uploaded, there'll be a file folder associated with that. And then if ever comes a time you want to delete the file folder, you just click on that and click delete and it's and it's gone so what I'd like to do now is move over to expression web